All right, I'm loading in. Are you already loaded into the world, Jeff? I am already in the world. I am giving myself a couple skill points. As you guys can see, um, there is <laughs> no loading screen uh, yet assigned. All right, there we go. Let me see here. We're here on this snowy mountain. All right, sorry guys. It should be running now. You guys should be seeing it. So welcome to, <clears throat> this is uh, the starting zone for Alpha Zero. Oh, hey, hello friend. Yes, I would like to join your party. Oh, it's a little, a little uh, loud. Let me get out of my uh, chat box. Wait, let me also disable the Is Josh coming with us? I think Josh is coming too. Take the compass out. Oh, hold on. I don't have any skills applied. Okay, so uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about things, Jeff? Sorry, I'm trying to remember where my key binding is. Okay, um, so uh, this right here is right outside the portal. This is where everybody's going to be starting in our Alpha Zero. Um, you're going to be introduced to the world by either elves or humans, um, or in this case, Kalar and, P and Empyrean. Um, each one of us will get get their own kind of story through this starting area. Um, you'll be doing some similar things, killing some some bunny rabbits. You'll be uh, probably attacked by some some demonic armor, um, and then eventually you'll be taking your way down this giant mountain to, uh, try and establish a node. <laughs> that monster is concerning. There are three nodes in this zone, so, um, it'll be kind of a race to determine, uh, who wins. Uh, we've got a desert environment, a wetlands environment, <laughs> and a forest environment. Um, and they can be populated by both humans or or elves. Faster. Let's keep. Uh, let's head over to. Do we have a quest over here that we can take? Yeah, I think if we talk to Sergeant Landry here, he'll probably help us out. So now, one of the great things about a friends and family is that when you come across, you know, bugs like the one we just saw there, where <clears throat> that rabbit was regenning at a, like a hundred percent rate, um, our alpha, our friends and family testers will be recording that in our friends and family uh, forums and bug submission report we've got a guy in a little bit of a t-pose here no his, his gloves are just floating oh and cool he's, he's not wearing them his They're magical magic gloves, gloves. Um, you'll notice in the upper left hand corner we've got the grid coordinates uh, hopefully that will be very useful for people to submit bug reports with um... sweet Stephen I really like your look Hey, thanks, buddy. I got that, like, metal pauldrons with the cloth armor. I think he gave me a quest. Let me check. Check, check, check. Ah, kill gibbering maws. Okay, kill gibbering maws. Let me see the quest journal. Sweet. I get 500 experience for this and 100 coins. That's not bad for a little, uh friends and family quest. I like it. No, we'll get you started. Well, let's go find some gibbering maws. Our uh, environment artists did an amazing job on the zone. Uh, so now remember, super, guys, super happy with it. I see in chat people are saying, I hope the UI can be this or that or UI needs to be changed, whatever. Remember, this UI is a first pass for testing only. This is not our game UI. The game is far from having that place. Yeah, there's a lot of systems we need to put in place uh, before we really, really start tackling the UI. Um, the UI is going to be a really important part of the game. Um, and so we want to make sure we spend a lot of time doing it right. Um, and, and right now, we just want to give people information about their quests, about their character. Um, and we're not too terribly worried about what it looks like right now. Um, we'll, we'll cross that path when we get to it. I've killed two. I've got three. I like how Steven just keeps swapping his weapons. 
I know. Now tell us a little bit about um, uh, the process of of leveling up and how the skill system works. Now. Um, so yeah, as you gain experience and you gain levels, you're going to start getting skill points. Um, there's a couple different breakpoints within the level itself that you'll get skill points, and then you'll get uh, a good chunk of them when you level up. Um, if uh, uh, each each skill is kind of set in its own tier, um, so uh, the first level is cheaper than the second level, is cheaper than the third. Level. Uh, right now we have three tiers of abilities going all the way up to level ten. So many rabbits. All right, I think I should have some skill points now. All right, I got a charge bolt. Oh, it's still on cooldown. Remember, that's a focus ability, so you're going to have to have full focus to use it. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that. Uh, Instance asks, will AOC have action combat as well, or just have targeting? Good thing about Ashes of Creation is that our skill progression system includes elements of both action targeting as well as tab targeting, so it's really customizable by the player based on their preference. Oh, my charge bolt's ready. Oh, I just hit level three. I love the colors in this area. Dangerous death cap. Wait, is there a boss nearby? Oh, this is pretty. There's like a ruin here. Just look up, Steven. Just look up. Oh, wow. Wait. Yeah, I like it. Very nice. Let's keep exploring. Let's find a. Uh, has there a node been developed yet? Uh, Is there enough experience? If we're not, we're really close. I think I set the first level to like. Uh, 400,000 or something? Alex is just running. Ooh, there's a towering troll over there. Oh, I just hit level 3. Congrats. Notice where? Nodes to the left. Ooh, let's go. Let's do it. Josh, why is your name Josh Berg? I'm just stop. It's like Duckberg? Uh, that was a rhetorical question. Oh my gosh, that troll almost one-shot me. I need help. Where's my healer? 
This is far too high level for me right now. No. Oh, goodness. Good job, team. That was close. You almost let me down, healer. Almost let me down. What? Where? Oh, down this. I don't see, uh, I don't see any city. I'm going to the left. Oh, go east? I have my compass turned off. <laughs> hold on, hold on, wait. Okay, going to the east. Oh, this, this, uh, I'm training some, uh, monsters here. I'm gonna need some help. I need some help here. <laughs> Definitely gonna need some help here. This guy does not look happy. Looks very angry. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. A flangled bud. Oh, a little flangler. What's up, buddy? A little flanger, flangler under... Oh, ooh. That was scary. Did you see that? Oh, and he popped out of the ground. <laughs> and I'm dead. Are you dead? Yeah. Oh, I just died too. How come the flanglers are so powerful? Well... <sighs> Where's my healer? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to resurrect. Oh, wait, no. Can you resurrect me? I think you just burned it. Sweet. Let's see where yeah, I end up. I'm going to hit it. Oh. Hey, buddy. Hi. Oh, yeah. right up here. Cool. Where are we? How convenient. Oh, there Follow there. me. Over there. First wipe North America. We need our names now. <laughs> oh, never mind. Josh Berg survived because he cheated. This lake looks a little barren. Maybe something happened here a long time ago. A long, long time ago. Let's go first one. An untold number of years. Boy, I'm like Michael Phelps in this water. Holy moly. I think I, I, think I know. The, the old world was water world. <laughs> I think I swam faster than I run. Echoing? Are we echoing? Guys, if you think these water animations look good, just wait until we actually get our real animations in place. I mean, they're good, but... Again, this is all very first pass. Oh, do we have a node over here? I see an opening. I think I if I know. stopped to gather something, I'd probably die. Alright, I think we're almost at the node. I believe in you, Steven. Do it for me. Oh, no, 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 no. There's a cat chasing me. <laughs> oh, there's two of them. <laughs> please, please no bully. There's three of them. You know what you need to do is you need to give yourself some skill points and get to... Oh, I found the safety of the node. Uh, aggro does eventually drop. Um, there's a leash range. Um, eventually. Oh, this is an Empyrean node. An Empyrean. Uh, so... Explain a little bit about, Jeff, about how culture influences node development. A lot of people know, but... Yeah, so um, it basically is kind of a race between races. Um, whoever, nice. Whoever's race... <laughs> uh, whoever, <laughs> I am the bard. Um, whoever's race uh, contributes the most experience is going to be uh, what the node is aspected is in when it pops. So if... if Elves contribute the most to a node's uh, experience. That node will be flavored uh, in in an elvish style. Um, same for humans, dwarves, orcs, um, and it's also for subclass or sub races, not just the super race. So an Empyrean um, node is going to look different from a Pyrian node. Uh, same for the uh, Kalar and Velun. Um, so so yeah, I mean we've got a lot of cool different looks in the game, um, and and each node should feel different yeah, based on this. where it pops, when it pops. Who pops it? Uh, this is a level three node, a village. Uh, that's that's the highest you're gonna see uh, in this alpha zero. Uh, 
Um, yes, uh, right now, again, this may change. A lot of this stuff is in flux. Um, it's going to kind of depend on how people actually experience it and what's fun and what's not. But um, basically at every stage of a node, uh, that race continues to happen. So if it's human at node level two, uh, but elves contribute the most to getting into level three, then it will pop as a level three elf node. Is PvP on? Did somebody turn it back on? Oh no, turn it off. Alright. Ooh. Oh, there it is. We have arrived. Here in Joshburg. I'm concerned. This place is inhabited by trolls. Guys, we're surrounded by trolls. Josh, help! Gosh, I gotta carry you through this dungeon. I'm coming, guys. Wait for me. Are you here? Almost. A vile beastie is ahead. Uh, yes, not 99. Fall damage will be a thing later on. Did you just die? Oh my gosh! I got. What is. Oh, it's a five player dungeon? I thought we were going into a two player dungeon. Well, I respawned. Let's go to the uh, floodplains. You know, guys, I just got here. <laughs> Jeff just got there. <laughs> oh no. Uh I think I had I think I had east to head to the uh, floodplains, huh? Oh, you summoned me. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you summon <laughs> Who summoned me? I'm not touching those vile beasties. Those things wrecked me. Oh, they one -shot me. oh my gosh. Why have you done this? Why have you brought this foe upon us? <laughs> Get me out of here. Get me out. Oh wait, we're going deeper. Why are we going deeper? Uh, the leash is not working on this guy? Okay. How deep does this go? There's a dude named, uh, Pater the Dexterous. Oh, they're on patrol. Dude, these guys are on patrol. It's Peter. Peter, don't kill me. Kill him. Oh, you killed Peter? Should have called him Peter the Soft. Yeah, he should have been called Peter the Soft, not the...
This is not going to end good. Oh my gosh. Are you guiding him up the stairs? This, this foe is beyond any of you. Flee. Fly, you fools. Okay. Oh, hello. How many monsters did you put down here? Uh, what is this? <laughs> we have to be smart pulling. <laughs> what? Okay, so just so everybody's aware, there's over 4,000 NPCs on this one zone. 4,000 monsters in this one zone. Not including how many NPCs get spawned when nodes propagate. Uh, so I think we've seen where the majority of these monsters are. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm taking damage. Why am I taking damage? Uh, <sighs> There's poison water down here. Don't I have a cleric with me? Do you have a, a cleanser? Aren't you a cleric? You are. Aren't you supposed to be a cleric? Wow. Wow. <sighs> All right. Don't summon me. I want to find the. Uh, and just before before we close the stream, I just want to go over to um, the floodplains area. All right, guys. I think I think over this hill, and we'll be in the floodplains. So, Jeff, explain just how. Just just how. how. Just <laughs> explain just how. Explain just how. <laughs> no, explain uh, just how much um, time the studios has spent on getting this alpha zero prepped we started um, right after <laughs> right after pax um <laughs> we started moving on this because obviously we're going to real uh full-on no holds barred production right now um so yeah since uh pax basically the day after we got back uh we started working on this build um this is probably about 10 times the content that was in PAX. Yeah. Uh, and we did it Minimum. with uh, one extra month. <laughs> PAX took us about two months. Um, this took us about three months. So. We technically, um, I think when we when we pulled out the production sheet, we had 68 production days. Yeah. Right? Yeah, 68 yeah. production days. Which is about eh, 20 working days a month. Yep. But yeah, so we have a full world to play with now, which is really cool, um, and the uh, architecture to back it up, which means that stuff will continue to come uh, kind of faster and faster as, as we move along um, and as these systems get solidified. Jeff, you're still dead. I'm not dead. I'm alive. Oh, bug report. You're not close <laughs> to me, so you're probably not seeing it. Bug report. <laughs> <laughs> my team, my uh, party window shows you dead. So many lions in these prairies. Oh. No, 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 no. No, no. No, no, no. Stop it. Okay. He didn't want any of this. Let's go towards the volcano. That's always a good idea. Oh, Josh. How'd you get over here? I see you. 
Got some gray boxing. Hey, Josh, summon me. Oh, Josh, summon him. Josh, summon Jeff. Oh, Josh died. He has all the powers. I know. <laughs> he, he has yeah, he GM cheats, and he's still dying. Uh, somebody asks a question. Everything that has 100 health will be like that uh, in the future. Um, everything that does not have uh, 100 health, that's actually a percentage. So um, it's right now just showing percentage of health. So when you see 21 in the screen, that means it's got 21% of its health left. Wow, Josh. <laughs> Josh has like every tiger in the entire <laughs> zone after him. Oh my gosh. These these tigers. Nope. Nope. Alright. We haven't seen chat. Can you chat right now or only voice RIP? <clears throat> you can chat. Hold on. Oh my gosh. This thing's good. Hold on. Oh, that guy like one one third hit. All right, here we go. You gender say hello world. <laughs> Did you see it? Nice. Oh, really? Where'd you say it? Oh, you can't see it because of my picture. There you go. There you go. Something pretty and blue up ahead. Let us see what it is, friend. Southeast. Let's go southeast of us. Hold on. There we go, down here. Another good fishing spot. Very true. There's good fishing to be had. Oh my gosh, I forgot to order dinner. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. We'll go out to dinner right after the stream. We'll run to, like, uh, Red Lobster or something. <laughs> I know, there's a lot of cow, oh my gosh. Oh, hey. Why are you so much faster than me? Why are you so much faster? <laughs> You're such a cheater. I'm going to have to ban you, you before, we, before we even get into alpha. I'm going to have to ban you. Yep, Josh is bringing up a good point. So even in Alpha Zero, we have the uh, spawn tables that adjust based on node development. So different monsters spawn, different levels of the monsters spawn, making areas relevant uh, even as you progress. Once those nodes advance, those areas become important. It's a giant face. We need to work on those textures a little bit. <laughs> I think it's LODing the textures for me. Yeah. Bug report. <laughs> Bug report. We need to turn the we need to turn yeah, but we need to the texture streaming on that LOD was is too low. We need to break that out. I know, it's huge. Where are you at, Jeff? I honestly don't know. 
<laughs> I feel Sorry, better. I was, talking, I was talking to Akil and Peter. Oh, okay, very good. Yeah, where's the desert? Take me. Probably. Oh, we should have shown one of the Easter eggs. No, we oh, should. Yeah. We should leave them for. Okay, to but yeah, but not. A, but we have a thousand viewers. They are not all in uh, Alpha Zero. Well, we can show them afterwards. Yeah. All right, all right. It yeah, I know where it is. The sun, the sandal of Stephen in the desert. You already gave it away. Whoops. <laughs> but they haven't seen it, so it's okay. Uh, I think so, yeah. And I have the I have the reveal ability too. And and he's telling everybody how to find it and what to do. <laughs> Uh, somebody asked earlier uh, if there was any penalties for for kiting backwards or forwards. Um, uh, backpedaling is slower, um, and strafing is also a little bit slower. Have you put the... Uh, <clears throat> did you put one of the bosses in? Uh, one of the bosses? Um, uh, I think so... Um, but no, we haven't, kill us anyway. those are not active yet. Oh, are we by the Underrealm? That's okay, let's go down. Let's go into this area's Underrealm. Uh, yeah, summon me, because I'm going to die to the Sharp Fang. So you can summon Jeff, too. I'm right behind you guys. Oh, okay, good. Or you can summon me anyways. That's cool. I love how deceptively large this place feels. What is that? What? What? Hey. What have you done again? No, <laughs> Josh says this isn't one of his, Jeff. It's one of mine. Oh, it's one of your. <laughs> hey, it's friend. Request. Hey, questions. It's for a quest. His name is question. Quest question. I like how he says nothing. Dot dot dot. If, no, nothing? no, no. You say nothing. No. I know. <laughs> dot dot dot. Nothing. Okay. Dot dot. Okay. <laughs> if you had a quest, you might find out more about him. Nice. I found a mystical object. Have we not populated this area with monsters? Oh, okay, got it. Got it, got it. All right, some of the spawn actors were not active, but the latest push has them, so it's good. We got it fixed. No need for a bug report! Can we get out this way? Is there an exit up here? Does it exit into the uh, desert? Yes. Nice. Jeff, I found an exit. Yes. Come, my child. Steven, how on <laughs> earth did you find this exit? I don't know. I followed Josh. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, your sense of direction is uncanny. It's uncanny. It's like we're going east or something. I love the giant cavernousness of the Underrealm. Enough like space for a those. Whole node in I here. know. Enough space for some uh, nodes, somebody might say.
Someone says, Zephyr says, even with this one zone, the world feels large. I cannot imagine what it will feel like at launch. You know what, Zephyrus? I can't imagine either. I think it's going to be pretty unbelievable. Pretty amazing, some could say. Okay, uh, I've discovered the darkest material in the world. Pure blackness. It's just contrast between dark and light. <laughs> between Tolnar and human. No. <laughs> Joshua is crazy. Joshua is delirious with with exhaustion. We've worked him too hard. Yeah, he's got he's worked into deliriousness. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this these. This is actually I love the colors in this zone. Look at these cacti. That is a huge cactus. A slade-born flesh mender. I have a bug. Somebody says, we need longer than three hours to test all this. Well, true, but that's why we have so many different testing sessions. Ah. We might have found another dungeon. Oh, is there another dungeon over here? There's something over here. What is this? Look at all these fireflies. Did you ever used to catch fireflies as a child and put them in a jar? I did. Me too. Back in Chicago. I did that in Indiana. They don't have them out here in San Diego. I know. It's sad, actually. It is. They're, it's I so it's so beautiful to like look it's out the window. Something magical about it, yeah. Oh wow, this is a uh, this is a large large cavern. That looks really familiar to me. I know, right? Also, maybe some questing down here. That looks like a heart to me. All right, <laughs> guys. We... Oh, is there a second half? I'm sorry. Where? Where? Oh, no, I can reveal it. I can reveal it. There should be collision there, but let me reveal. Open sesame. And it didn't open. Oh, but okay, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> working as intended. <laughs> it's, not, it's, not, it's not a bug, what? <laughs> okay, so what would have happened there? <laughs> the desert dungeon? No, nah, we're good. I think I think we're good, guys. We're actually gonna uh, call it a night here tonight. I hope that you enjoyed a first look at Ashes of Creation's Friends and Family Alpha Zero event. We are making an unbelievable amount of progress. The team here of absolute developer extraordinaires are working their hearts out to bring the best possible game to the MMORPG genre, rising from the ashes of the MMORPG genre. We will <laughs> bring you the best game possible and this is just the first of many tests to come we appreciate your support we love our community we love all of you guys our and, community is uh, literally the best absolutely the best the most unbelievable and uh we will see you on our next stream have a good night everybody thank you good night, for everybody. sticking in have a great one <laughs>